Yeah, Subi beat Magnus. That's a pretty classic game. I think everybody's seen that video by now. He's very good, but he's too... He's He needs to work more on his positional game. He's too reliant on, like, tactics. I'm going to play Carl Kahn in French today. Okay, let's play h5. Let's take. Let's go check in queen a6. Goes b4. Okay, this is an original idea. I'm not familiar with it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna trust him and play Queen A6. I don't even know if it's right. Okay, does this one. But I think in this case it's not so good because B4 is soft. I mean you can go here, I guess. But this doesn't look right somehow. I mean I can always go like here. I think I'm supposed to develop the knight if I remember correctly. Let's go here, knight f5. Because he can't go knight c3, so he has to waste time to develop his knight. Just spent two hours on a lesson when clearly my time would have been better spent here. What is that? That's a pawn, isn't it? I want a3 or something. I guess it's reasonable. I can always play a5. But you know, let's just develop. Let's just play classical. Let's play knight d7. And I'm going to go knight f5 and probably just rook e8. It's not great, but it should not be terrible either. So I can play rook e8 still and guard the juicer. I mean, if he checks, I just go up. And if I get e5, I should be much better here. It was knight a4, strange move. Um, I can play b5. I don't want to do it or not. It's interesting. I don't actually know if I want to. So I'm just going to play rook e8. And just, I guess I'll go e5 at some moment. He still has knight c5, but I feel like I can take and go b6. I don't know. Oh, wow. He does this, which I feel like now I get a big center. Maybe it's not great, but it feels like this should be good somehow. I can also go a5. No, then he takes. b6 is also a move. I think I'm just going to move my king so I can double, maybe. I also, yeah, I'm going to move my king so I can play e4 and take. There's bishop c3. I do have e4. I also have d4 here. Um, It's very equal, unfortunately. Very hard to win this. Hmm. Very dry. I, I don't really want to make a draw, but I don't have good move. I guess I'll just do it. Why not? I go here. If he takes, I can take. I can also just take and go here, I guess. Not thrilled, but it's it's chess. Yeah, Subi's playing... I mean, he was playing some odd moves, but it's this is pretty dry. I mean, I have knight f8. Okay, I go here. If he takes... Again, I want to take and go here. I'm also hitting the juicer on h4. I also have rook d8. Pretty dry. Pretty dry. Your hair looks pretty good today. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> he goes g3. The only thing that I don't like about g3 is I think I have some tricks with rook d3 now. At some moment. I don't quite know when, but I feel like there should be some tricks. Like, if I just go here, I'm going to just double stack it. Because the problem is by going g3 now, if he takes, I take this one. Wait a second. I can take... Wait a second. If I take e4, rook e8, rook d4, I guess this idea... I don't believe him. I'm going to take. So I go here. Wow, it goes e5, which I think is actually a very bad move. Let's just go here and hit the pawn. I did not think he would go e5. That looked very dubious to me. I take. I check. He wants knight g6, but again, I don't think I'm really that concerned, so I just scoot over. And I just take. Oh, he's got this. She moved over. Knight c8, rook d7. And again, he got the jumbo pony, but he doesn't have anything else beyond that. So now I should be able to just reroute my knight. So let's just go, not h4, not knight f4. What do I do? Uh, let's go here and get rid of the pawns. Let's go here, knight d5, hit the bishop, and now the pawn is soft. And now I go knight d3, and I should be winning here. Goes there. Let's go here. Check takes. Check takes, and that's game.
Okay, let's do something. Let's play the Al Alapin. Let's go here and here. Rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. Now, this should be winning. I don't remember why, but I know this is... W this line is winning. I just don't remember exactly why. Because you go... Oh, he just... Well, now he's just down a pawn. I don't know what that was. Wait, this I know is not good for black, if I play this correctly. Let's go here and maybe King C1. This is definitely not great for black. I know that much. Okay, castle. So I guess I just go here. Try to trade some knights. Probably play as rook D8. If I go King C1? What's he doing? Again, I'm up a pawn temporarily. Oh, did I just... Wait, takes, takes, and... Rook C1, it's good. I don't want to take. I guess I just go knight d4 and trade. Maybe knight b3 was better, but this still should be good. He goes here and I take. I have to just be careful. The one thing that um that this dude is good at is he's good at tactics. And I did again right on cue I blunder bishop g5 for no good reason. I have g3 here and f4. Knight d2 and bishop f6. Not happy about this. Why did I allow this? This is so ridiculous. I was just winning. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, it just goes here and it's just a draw. Nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. King e3, rook e8. Let's go here and here. I'm gonna go king c3 and try somehow to create something. I'm sure this is just a draw, but let's go here and king b4 maybe. Just take. Let's go here and rookie five, I guess. Hit the bishop. Obviously, this is a draw with correct play, but g6. Strange move. I'm going to go f3. Uh, I guess it's just, yeah, it's just a draw. Okay, let's put everything on dark squares and just try to play the game. The one thing is he's putting his pawns on light squares, so there might be some issues. Okay, I can play rook d5. I don't want to. I'm going to go here in a5, maybe. Still a draw with correct play. Let's go here. Did I just give him rook h1? Still probably a draw. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I'm trying to win. Let's go here. King b4 allowed rook c2, so that's why I went to b3, so that he can't go this way and hit two pawns. Now I can obviously trade. I don't really want to. Maybe I just take and go here though. Because I can run the king up the board. If the king gets to b5, this rook is really good laterally holding the glue. So I might have winning chances now. Now I can play rook e8. But I don't believe in it. So I'm going to go f4. Oh, but he's got h4 or something. Yeah, he's got h4. Um, hmm. I can go rook e3, rook f2, but it doesn't really do much. If I play king b4, try it, I guess. At least got rook f. Wait, but now I go. Wait, I just blundered. Let's go here. I'm so close to throwing this game. I got to be careful now. just go here I, I mean I feel like this should still be fine I can just let's go not there ah uh, whatever let's just take and make the draw go here hit the bishop just gonna make the draw and move on before I throw this game away it's bishop e8 I can play f5 I can also do this and this rook d8 king e7 just go here and just takes takes I take should yeah this will just be a draw if b5 i just take and it's a draw maybe it does it wait why did he do this wait bishop wait he just blundered if takes i take and this is still a draw but he's gonna suffer here and he can't move the bishop because i check wait he just blundered bigly and this is a safe pre move because there's no other this is a safe pre move there's no other move he can play if he doesn't do it i can't move the king so it's a good safe pre move okay this is a draw? This is actually a draw because I don't think it is. No, he's losing here. What is he doing? His king is cut off. Here I just take and go here.
Wow. Very weird game. Very, very weird. Very, very weird by, by Soupy. Definitely better than that. It was very weird. Why did he do that? It's honestly so weird. Let's go here in E6. No, no, I mean, paid actor is funny, but no. He just, I mean, he just blundered. It's just very bizarre, honestly. It's just very bizarre to see. Because he's better than that. Um, I can play F6. I can also go, like, A5, maybe. I can also play F6. don't really like F6, but I think I'm going to play it anyway. It feels wrong, but I'm going to do it. Maybe he's a fan. Yeah, very funny, you guys. Very funny. Okay, it goes knight f4. I did actually, you know, I saw this was a move, but then for some reason I thought this just didn't work. I just, maybe it does. It's actually very creative. This is classic soupy. And yeah, this is why my queen shouldn't be on b5. This is exactly why I'm, I'm gonna play this. I'm probably gonna lose here, but let's see if there's some way I can salvage this. Takes, takes, knight f6, check, king g8, knight e6, knight e6, bishop d6, I guess, and try to survive. Then you do EV any codes for the prime, prince for the prime, then EVG space for two months. Queen B2 early, E6 is a very sharp line. I think it's supposed to be a draw with correct play, but it's it's no, it's actually not a blunder. It looks like a blunder, but the line goes really deep. And I don't I don't remember what the exact evaluation is. It's gonna take off. I don't even know why he's thinking, because he, he should just play it and then thinks his bishop is trapped no matter what. Although maybe he doesn't have to. Maybe he can go rookie one first. I mean, I obviously pre-move to safe and go here. Let's go here. He's going to take... I guess I go bishop d6. The good news is either I lose or I win. But the good news is that basically it's on Soupy to prove that he's winning. It's not on me. He goes rookie one, which I think is not a good move. Instinctively, it feels wrong somehow. It just does not feel like the right move. How do I take advantage it's definitely not the right move but I'm not sure why it's not the right move. bishop before queen f4 is a problem um maybe I just go rookie eight you know let's just go rookie eight and bishop d6 and try to survive let's go here I mean I feel like I'm losing somehow but I don't actually see the win right off thank you to Malusin file for the prime thank you so much appreciate it Malusin file thank you I mean, maybe it goes a four, but then then I get time to reroute my queen, so it's not so clean. If I can get rook h six, rook g six, maybe I can play this. I mean, I should be losing here somehow, but he's using so much time that if he doesn't find the knockout blow right away, he's gonna lose. Um, now I can take. I can also go rook h six, maybe. What's his threat? Let's think about this. What is his actual threat? I'm just going to go here in rook g6. So knight c7 I just take. I think he's, he's really misplaying this because already everything is very unclear. Goes a4. I think I just I'm go to c4. If I take, that's got to be back. So queen d3. I'm just going to go here. Knight c7 I just take. This b3. I knew he would do this. It's probably is wrong, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, he goes c4, but now what's the point? Oh, he's got tricks. He's got knight tricks now. Okay. Knight c7. Rookie 2, queen e2. He has tricks. Okay, let's think. How do I do this exactly? Can't move. Maybe I just go knight e4. Yeah. So if he takes, I check. If he takes, I take. This should be winning, actually. I should have seen this sooner. Just check and takes. He just missed this. He resigns. Let's go again. I should have lost that game, but we got the dub. 
That's the one thing I would say about Soupy. He's very good, but he's too... He's He needs to work more on his positional game. He's too reliant on, like, tactics. That's actually his big... That's what I would say, like, uh, in seriousness. He needs to work more on his positional game. He's too reliant on, on these tactics. Okay, D5. I can play D3. Let's just play an end game. Let's have some fun. No, no, no. He's not, he's not you guys. He's very good, but he's, he's too reliant on tactics. He needs to improve his positional game if he wants to get his rating, rating to like 2650 or, or whatever, whatever his goal is. Yeah, Subi beat Magnus. That's a pretty classic game. I think everybody's seen that video by now. Yeah, it goes 97. I mean, I can obviously trade and go here though, and trade. Shouldn't be that bad, especially because my pawn dominates his knight. His knight can't jump. Very important how the knight can't jump. I'm gonna go check and king here, maybe. I think I'm probably gonna rotate my knight back around the other way. Let's go here in 93. No, you can rely on tactics, but I mean, I but like in all seriousness, um, it is worth noting that like maybe I'll even go h4 and rook h3, do a rook lift, possibly depending on what he does. Okay, he does go c4 now. Do I go here? I think I do. Knight d4 is a move, but I don't believe it. It's only a pawn. It can't. It's too speculative. Someone pulled this trick against me recently, so that's why I, I vaguely remember it. The Bond Cloud is corrupted, Ikar isn't Castle All Stream. Good one. I mean, I can go 93, but then 94 is his point. I can also play, no, A4 is insane. Let's just go. 92 is a move. Is it good? Actually, no, let's just go H4. Play H5, probably 92. You can even go Rook D1, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go rook d1, trade, bring the king over, and then go knight e3 later. Actually, no, why am I gonna do that? Let's just go here and knight e3. I just don't want this knight d4. So now it's no longer a threat. So now knight e3, knight e5 is coming here. Knight d5, a f check. Just go a4. Knight c7, I can also take and go rook d1. Wait a second. Knight c7, knight c5 takes. How does he guard? I don't see it, so I'm going to play it. If he goes here, I take, take, take. If he takes, I can take or take. He goes b4. Ah, uh, he's got rook a8. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do it. It's probably bad, but let's do it. I also have to put the bishop on this square, which I really didn't want to have to do. Go here, hit the knight. Knight c5, rook d5, I guess. My bishop is actually really bad on b1. I just forgot that the bishop is that bad. Okay, now I go rook d5. What's his next move? Let's see. Whoa, he checks. Now that I did not expect, actually. That's kind of surprise. Wait. It's actually a very surprising move. I think I, well, I have to take, I can't, it's just gonna make a draw, probably just as a draw. If I go F3, check is no good. Maybe I go, wait, just think. Rookie three, rookie two. Can't let him go knight a5. I think I just have to run my king up. Oh, but he can take. That one? Okay, does it fix this one? Let's go here, hit the knight. Probably just a draw, unfortunately. Knight a7, rook a5. He won, so he wants to go check. It's actually a very good move. Although, is how bad is this? Go here, maybe? B2, King C2, or King C4, maybe even? I'll go here and run the King back. Goes there, wait. Now I go here and I have knight c4. He kind of misplayed this, I think. G4. 
two, one. Okay, now I can take with the Rook. Go here. He's going to lose now, I think. Is it still a draw with correct play, or is it? No, now he's losing. Nope, no draw. I got lucky that one. I should not have won that game. But it's a dub. Keep rolling. No mods? No mods? 